Hi, good morning, good evening, good night. Welcome to the day of the feet. Today I have my eyes very tired, so if you see me do it like this, it's just because of this. I hope it was um, it was a good uh, walk yesterday uh, to move the knees properly <laughs> and to connect with the mom and dad traumas. As the arm said today, let's go step by step because we have too many things to process, to understand, to assimilate. It's just all, like, uh, how do you say, a matter of getting the rhythm. So today, tomorrow is the last day of the first month that we have been working. And uh, today is the last physical aspect, which is the feet where um where we will work the constancy so constancy is something that i must say that i don't have i don't know what it is for sure we share that with many of you um so today when i was talking with the higher self and writing i kind of got where is my lack of constancy for sure, this is something that we can relate that we can relate with um, the um, uh, the personal aspects. Each one is different, but this is something that it has been happening for the whole humanity, not just for few people. So one of the reasons why this is a global thing and not not only personal is because now in our society we have built our reality thinking constantly in the future, trying to picture how the future is going to be, trying to live the future, trying to build the future constantly. And <clears throat> we live more in the future, trying to change every day as much as possible and not being in the present. This fact that we have as a society right now of looking forward constantly and living in the future is something that shows us that we forgot how to stay in the present, how to live the present. So here we have a paradox, which is if I don't think in the future, I cannot build the future because I cannot picture it. But um, if I don't live the present, neither I can build the future because I don't have the anchor to do so. In order to build, to create realities, we don't even have to live in the future nor live in the past, but neither to live in the present. And this is something that the higher self wrote today in such a way that was to have a, how do you say desintoxication in English? Um, detox, yeah? To have a detox of um, time, which for me was a fun concept. It was a great concept to to picture our problem with time. In our society, what we used to do is to think constantly and to build future, to create future, to live the future. So we forget to live the present, but we are still carrying the past, the heavy of the past. And also this concept of time makes us believe that we need to leave the past in order to create future. So when the I am said, that we need to review the concept of time to get a detox of time. What it meant was to transform our idea that we are heading to the future. What he was do saying was that we are not moving through time. The time moves through us. We are fixed in just one spot and time moves like the waves in the sea. What he was saying is that we are not, we should not go to anywhere. We should not go anywhere. What we have to do is to focus where we are in the perception of the time that we receive. This means that what we have to do is to observe very carefully in our spot, all the things that go through us from the past, the present, and the future. And this 
we can translate it like to be in just one spot and at the same time to be in any time and everywhere at the same moment. So the concept that represents to be in all times in just one spot is all of the times being in just one spot and the concept of that. That in Latin is con, that is to be with, stan, which is to be, and tia, which means the concept of. So constancy, that's the name of that fact. The concept that we have today of constancy is to keep doing exactly the same or trying to, to, to hold just one line to reach a purpose. If we set ourselves a purpose and a goal, so we try to get into that point. So we need to do like exactly the same things in order to accomplish that. For a simple example is like, for example, I want to go on holidays and vacations. So in order to go to vacations, I must be constant in my job so I can earn money to pay for the vacancy, the holidays. So that's um, mostly what we relate to be constant, to keep doing the same thing in order to reach a goal. So if we picture this, the concept of constancy is related to the idea of the West part of the world, which is related with work. So imagine that for our West civilization, to reach something, to get something, um, to be, uh, we need for in order to get something, we need to be constant. So it's about to work. It's about to keep doing in order to reach a goal. So this concept of constancy is not the one that us working for the consciousness must work with. This is the one that we inherit from the Western civilization. So for example, for the Eastern civilizations in the past, constancy is more related with observation, contemplating the process of the process, the evolution of something. From the Western point of view, for example, we can picture this idea that you want to plant a tree, you see a tree, so, so you could get the fruit of the tree. So you think about the fruit that that tree is going to give you. So you need to be constant, hmm? constant to, to water the plant every day, to take care of the plant so it doesn't get ill. From the point of view of the Eastern civilization, which is not precisely like that, but it's easier to understand these concepts from the Western and Eastern. But let's picture that in the Eastern civilization, there is someone that wants to plant a tree, but instead of waiting for the fruit, what the Eastern civilization would do is to observe how the tree is growing. How is the process Okay, the process of growing, the process of, um, of relating yourself with the growth of the tree. These are the two different concepts of constancy that we can relate with. So what the I am was saying was that both of them are related to a concept that is going through time. One of the things that the I am was saying is that we need to detox ourselves from the concept of going through time. And the thing that he was saying is that we don't have to think how the tree is growing, is to think I am the tree. The concept of constancy that this, that the I am was saying is that not to sit and observe how the tree is growing up, not to sit and wait for the tree to give fruits, but to become yourself the process of the tree and realize yourself how the tree is growing within you. What the I am was saying is instead of waiting for something to happen, what we have to do is to make step by step these things to happen, to focus in our daily things 
as a process of growth. What he was saying is that in the moment of this tree growing up, there is the whole potential of what that tree was being other trees and the seed and the fruit, and also the potential of every fruit and every seed that it is going to create in order to become more trees. The concept that, uh, that the I am was trying to talk about is not to do everything that you do in order to reach something in the future, but to do everything that you do, focusing in what you are doing every day, which is the only way in which you can activate the potential of the future. The concept is not to think or do our stuff day by day in order to create future, to go to the future, to do stuff in the future. But on the other hand, what we have to do is to realize that that future is within us. Like the fruit is inside the tree, is within us. So when you do each day focusing in the present, you are activating the potential of the future. The concept that it was trying to share is that we should not leave the past behind in order to create future. That what we have to do is to use the past here and now as an energy to feed the future, which is also here and now. And the only way to activate it is by the action in the present. And that is ko, which is past, present, and future all together, stantia, being, and we call that eternity. This is what he meant with a time detox. So what really means constancy is to realize that in every action of the present, I am transforming my past into future. So this is why each tiny thing that we are doing day by day is the one building future if we do it through the consciousness and i am saying this because it's important to understand the difference between constancy and present the present is just a concept that tries to explain this precise moment so the present is not the one we have to give the present is just an anchor sometimes when we hear the expression to leave the present we may think that in order to do so we have to leave the past behind and stop thinking about the future. But it's not that. It's precisely the opposite. It's exactly the opposite. It's to put the three times together in just one moment. So remember that when you say, I must live in the present, you must translate it into, no, I must leave the eternal constant or the constant eternity. I guess that for sure this is a very different concept of the constancy that maybe you expected to work with today. <laughs> I think it's much more like a puzzle instead of a work line. So let's see how we go integrating it. <laughs> so let's go to today. This is the vibration of the day, Su, the statement of today related to the sound is I am the path of learning. So the code or information for today, which I wrote just to share, is the note me. And it says, Mira gestorum, watching the wonders, it means. Jacon's poems proceeds, referring to contemplate the wonders of divine creation. Me, it's the alphabetic homonymous being, uh, being E, the note E is the third note in the diatonic scale of C major. It relates with the energy of the sacral chakra uh, and thus where the fruits of the tree of life are produced, vibrating in the, cap in the capacity of creating the wonders of the universe. Begin by massaging the body, yawning, stretching the body, caressing, caressing every part. Mm. 
remember that what we are doing with this massage and caresses is to honor and thank the body for being the anchor of the spirit in the matter. begin to focus only in my breathing. I go with the oxygen through my lungs, my heart, blood, muscles, and organs. to feel the heat inside of me and as I breathe out I feel this heat going through my skin coming out and spreading in my aura filling up the whole magnetical field I picture the emotional level around me. As the soul. And I feel the energy of the soul. All over my skin. As the fresh light of the moon. And in the other hand. I feel the spiritual level of the mind shining over all my body with its warm light like the sun. And I observe my body as the holy temple where my soul and my spirit inhabit.
recognize my, my feet as the limit that surrounds all my temple. Take a deep breath and take your hands to touch, massage, caress your feet from your ankles. Be aware of each part of them. I recognize that they are the limits of my body, my tongue. Those who touch the horizon. I recognize in them the strength to hold my whole body day by day. I recognize in them the strength that take me towards my destinies. I picture in them the constancy of holding me here and now. So allow yourself to picture in front of you that thing in your life in which is the most difficult to be constant. Where in my life I have a lack of constancy. Acknowledging this without judgment, I allow myself to welcome the I am within my temple with the energy of the soul and the spirit. Take a deep breath and watch the light come inside through your crown in the cupola, through the windows, the roses of your eyes. lighting the candles going down through the throat on the bells the sacristy of your heart the altar the plexus the hall and choir in the saloon at the hall the door in your genitals the path in your knees and the horizon in your feet. I become aware of the light of the I am within myself, my being, irradiating through the horizon in my feet.
I become aware that my left foot is heaven, my right foot is earth, my right foot is here, my left foot is now. So I recognize that I can be here, I can be now, I can become my own destiny, I can be constant. As I take a deep breath, I start to pronounce the sound, activating the light of my feet, of heaven and earth, and arise the potential of being here and now, in every destiny. As I keep pronouncing the sound, I can feel the light shining from my feet towards every one of the destinies and all of them coming towards me here and now. And I picture in front of me that thing that for me is the most difficult to be constant with. And I made it as a new destiny coming towards me, coming within me, becoming myself here and now. So, so. As I feel all these destinies to come and to become myself, I recognize that through all of them I can learn to become here and now, in the present, the eternal, the eternity itself. So I recognize I am the path to learning 
and as I recognize this, I make my feet shine towards all my path of the past, the present and the future. I am the path to learning. I am the path to learning. I am the path to learning. And as I become aware of the I am in my feet, I bring my hands to my heart to balance. I can be here. I can live now. I am a constant process of learning. For I am the path to learning. Aquí y ahora, here and now. And I take with my hands from the heart this consciousness, massaging, caressing, stretching the body and yawning. everybody for being here and now with our feet very firm on the ground so see you tomorrow at the same time as always with constancy to close the process of the physical. Rest a lot and see you tomorrow. I forgot the task. So I guess it's easy, but um, remember that uh, the last week we wash our feet to start a new path so what we are going to do now is to um, to have a small walk in which we will take 10 steps one for each day one for each um, one for each um, chakra okay so in this new path that we are going to, going to do we have to set an intention for each part of our body, for each part of our chakras. So what we have to do is to think about an intention for my new mind in this new path. And I do a step. An intention for my new consciousness in this new path, another step. For my new truth, another step. So I take 10 steps. The last one would be for my whole being, for the whole self. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the intentions would be in this new path for me, I will, de I will be this, I will do this, or I am that. Okay. Bueno. Eso. Thank you for being there and see you tomorrow. I can't say rest 